I want to take you on a journey, not just to the Karbala of today, but to the Karbala of the past. We are not only traveling together right now to the Ziyar of Imam Hussain Islam and the holy city of Karbala in this present day, but I want to take you through the history of this amazing city and the history of the grave of our beloved Imam Hussain Islam. So close your eyes if you need to, bow your head and let's go on this journey. Pretend that time isn't a factor here. And I say that my love is not bound by time. You'll find me in all times, being drawn to his grave, walking time after time. However the earth spins, whatever time we're in, only one love calls me, and you'll find me beside him. Whatever the clock points to, whatever year books write to, you'll find me lost in the pages of Karbala's history, a book rich with golden dust, while blood from its pages gushed 1400 years of pain, courage, killing and glory. If I were present before Christ by 10,000, I'd seek out the land of Karbal and upon its dust I would pray. Though there would not be a grave, its soil I would still crave because its soil would still recite the details of Hussein's story. Were I born before man, I'd still know of this land. I'll cross the earth just so upon its soil I could stand. Karbala calls my name. I can feel it in the wind. Only one love calls me, and you'll find me beside him. Were time unkind toward me, and for reasons beyond me, I did not hear the call of Hussein to cry out, Labaik! Alongside Beni Asad, I'd ensure that the first tears shed upon his grave or from my own eyes, upon his grave or from my own eyes, for my master's sake. I'd help guide Jabra the blind. I'd learn from him and I'd recite, Peace be upon the one whose thirst makes the heavens shake. I'll be beside Mukhtar. We'd circle him together and, I'll, and we'll build a dome above him for which millions shall ache. A sight to cure the blind his first glorious shrine, I'd stand there by his door, writing rhyme after rhyme, my hand touching his grave, that fresh stone upon my skin, only one love calls me, and you'll find me beside him. Were it later I would sit beside Ja'far al-Sadiq and hear hadith after hadith about that holy land, he'd say that every footstep has a Hajj and Umrah in it. Hadith so great that those who narrate them were perceived as mad. No, no, it wasn't easy, but he pushed it anyway, even when there was fear of death and Ziyara was banned. My true faith only Allah knows, but I wish that I were of those that had no left hand to be cut so had offered their right hands. Does history not see how great this hatred must be? They punish the pilgrim just like they punish the thief. They can take all they want. They can take limb from limb. Only one love calls me and you'll find me beside him. Seeking heaven during hell in the time of Mutawakkil where pilgrims could be killed just by not hiding their movement. We would hide beneath the daylight and walk carefully by night. No threat of death can deter me from living that moment. We'd reach, feeling that desert cold, and see that Karbala, they destroyed it all. The only way to find his grave was to seek Hussein's scent. We'd find it and we'd lament. His shrine both torn down and burnt. Seeing this or denied its sight, what is a greater torment? I would give my whole world to see his shrine rebuilt with a glorious dome that stars themselves circle. Denied sight or seeing, which is the greater pain? Only one love calls me and you'll find me beside him. O oh land, O oh city of blood, I ask you how much blood seeps in your dust. I wonder if it rests on sand or upon waves of blood. 12,000 Wahhabi men with flags of Yazid waving stormed Allah's city, killing 4,000 Karbala natives. Our master's shrine they would plunder. No mercy, no surrender. You'd see pregnant women killed and on their stomachs fetuses. What a visit that would be. Stepping over dead bodies, wading through blood just to see dead bodies cling to his dharai. And when the Ottomans lost their rule, 
they too would invade and kill all in the city of death they butchered five thousand souls in the city of god they dwelled in the worst of sins only one love calls me and you'll find me beside him just like allah revives hussein in his wisdom he allows tyrants to wane in his wisdom he allows tyrants to reign i see mutawakkil brought back to life when Saddam Hussein reigns, I hope that I would miss my life. I hope that I would risk my life walking in those countrysides on the Arba'een when if seen I face execution. I salute Imam Sadiq. I salute Imam Sadiq just for sanctifying it and not denying us our beloved when we could be slain. It's as if death humors us and our master laughs with us when I see that tyrant standing outside his shrine and saying, you are Hussein and I am Hussein. I swear that until death, if he earns me my last breath, I'll visit him smiling at the angel of death. How many gave their lives just for a mere visit? Only one love calls me and you'll see me beside him. Oh Allah, keep safe Hussein city, whatever time it may be. On his Arba'een, his lovers will come in defiance. Year after year, I'll be there. Even if there is no air, I'll hold my breath and head out. In Allah, my reliance, when dead, I'll still yearn its taste. When I'm dead, I will still yearn its taste. And I'll rise up out of my grave just for a few days to bask in Hussein's magnificence. My soul is bound to his shrine. Our love it transcends both space and time. Karbala is eternal for it's bound with his triumph. Allah is merciful and Karbala eternal. Allah created time but he told, he told Karbala don't follow. It exists beyond time. All else exists within. Only one love calls me and you'll find beside him my love. My love for Hussein, not bound by time. You'll find me in all times, being drawn toward his grave, walking time after time. However the earth spins, whatever time we are in, only one love calls me and you'll find me beside him. Only one love calls me and you'll find me beside him.